Luna Bella laying in the grass, looking at the stars. She thinks about her past adventures and wonders what her next adventure will be. She sees a bright planet. It is called Mercury. This is the closest planet to the sun. She jumps up and shouts, I know my next adventure. I will visit all of the planets. Luna Vela decides to start at Mercury since it is the closest to the sun. She packs her bags and boards her space shuttle. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Zoom. Luna Vela's space shuttle launches into the sky. Next stop, Mercury. Her shuttle safely circles Mercury, and she looks out her window. Mercury has an extreme temperature swings. It can really be cold, then it can really, really be hot in all day. Mercury is also the smallest planet in the solar system. What is that? Luna Bella notices something shimmering. It is eyes. Mercury has eyes on it. Luna Bella thinks that is very cool. Pun intended. Luna Bella has a lot of other planets to visit, so she waves goodbye to Mercury. Next stop, Venus. Venus is Earth's closest neighbor. As Luna Bella arrives, she says, Hello, neighbor. Venus is really hot. It's about 900 degrees on the surface. It has volcanoes, and some of them may even be active. Luna Vela notices that the sun is setting on the different side of Venus than it does on Earth. She finds out that Venus spins backwards. That means that the sun rises on the west and sets on the east. It's time to go. Luna waves goodbye to Venus. See you next time, neighbor, she says. The next planet closest to the sun is Earth. Luna Vela knows what Earth is like, so she decides to skip it. Next stop, Mars. Luna Bella is excited for Mars because she is hoping to see the rovers and her favorite color is red. Mars is known as the red planet because of its reddish color. Luna Bella arrives and begins to circle the planet. Mars can get very cold. It has temperatures as low as negative 225 degrees Fahrenheit. More than 40 spacecrafts have been launched to Mars and there will be many more in the future. Luna Vela thinks Mars' red color is beautiful. It's time for Luna Vela to say goodbye. Next stop, Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. Luna Vela's space shuttle comes close to Jupiter. Luna gasps. Jupiter is huge. It is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter has a surface of swirling gases and intense storms. It even has a storm that has been happening for hundreds of years. Luna Bella is amazed, watching the winds blow and the gases swirl from her window. Next stop, Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It has seven rings around it. Luna Vela's shuttle zooms around the rings. The rings are made of rocks and bits of dust and ice. Saturn is also very big. It is the second largest planet in the solar system. After Jupiter. Did you know that Saturday, Luna Vela's favorite day of the week, gets its name because of Saturn? Luna Vela has two more stops to complete on her planet adventure. Next stop, Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. 
Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system. It is sometimes called the Ice Giant. Uranus is a very pretty blue color. Most of the planets made of icy materials and gases. Nervella laughs when she sees the Uranus spins on its side. It is the only planet that does that. Finally, it is time to move on, and the furthest planet from the sun. Next stop, Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the sun. Like Uranus, it is also an ice giant and it is blue. Neptune is very old. It is around 4.5 billion years old. Lunavella wonders if she could even count that high. Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea, and Lunabella can see why. It is a beautiful blue color, like the ocean. Neptune has the wildest and strangest weather in the solar system. Lunabella watches the weather for a little while before leaving Neptune. Lunabella has a lot of fun on her space adventure, but she's ready to return to back home, to her home planet, Earth. The final stop. Earth. Lunabella lands back on Earth and she's excited to be back home on the third planet closest to the sun. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that we know of that can support life like people, animals, and plants. Our oceans are what keep the temperatures on Earth stable. Water is also essential for life on our planet. Lunavilla leaves her space shuttle and feels the sun on her face. She smiles and thinks about how amazing it is that light from the sun takes eight minutes to reach us on Earth. As the sun sets in the west, Lunabella goes to sleep. She's tired from her planet adventure and is ready to dream of her next big adventure.